Hello Zebrahead and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It has been a couple of months since I have last played, but I figured I wanted to give another crack at this game and see if we can't make it any farther. I have no, no idea where we were supposed to be, what we were doing, but it looks like we gotta go this way. So I'm just gonna continue on with whatever the plot is telling me to do. I guess go into this building. Uh, wow, Olivia Store is actually way more chic than I did have expected. I know she's the island kahuna and all, but she seems like such a normal person, you know? I guess so. <laughs> so hopefully we can just do what we need to do. Oh, oh gosh, you have a very large nose. No pass. What? The Pokemon is holding a letter. You take the letter and read it. Olivia here. This is Probo Pass. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the ruins of life past Memorial Hill when you can. Oh. Uh, okay, so I can't go up that way, or I can. He's gonna let me pass. No pass, let me pass. <laughs> oh, 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 he's back. He's got a mustache, too. Pass? What? Medicine? Uh, uh you obtained a max potion. You opened up the medicine pocket. Okay, cool. Pass, pass. What in the world is happening? Why does he have little bird heads around him? I've marked the ruins on, on, of life on my map. Okay, thank you, Rotom. Uh, hi, these jewels are amazing. They've got powers. Uh, now I'll finally be able to get a boyfriend. <laughs> are you sure Kahuna Olivia still doesn't have a boyfriend? Hmm, well, does she have these? I guess she does. Ah, Diancie. The sudden transformation of, a, of the jewel Pokemon Carbink. As one who loves rocks and jewels above all, this Pokemon is a dream come true. I would be happy to see it in person, even if just for an instant. Okay, he wants to see a Diancie, apparently. Uh, hello. Only one per customer, and that that's set in stone. So what do you say, you gonna buy or no? Oh, uh, I don't know what these are. They're fossils. No thank you? Fossils are pretty popular here in Alola. You never know when we'll sell out of stock. Okay, hi. Welcome to Olivia's Jewelry sto Shop. Uh, bye. Does she sell? Firestone, Thunderstone, Waterstone, and Leafstone, a peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It has an unmistakable leaf pattern. Very cool. Uh, so these are uh, things that can uh, evolve Pokemon in some way or another. I I'm gonna be lost for the next couple of episodes, I have a feeling. I wanted to catch up on what Pokemon we have. As you can see, we have uh, Finn. Uh, Okay, maybe that's not what I wanna do. We have uh, Finn, who's a Finian. We have Tim, who is a rock dog. Charco, who is our our cat. We got Pokepack, which is a bird. Be Beardy Bill, which is our uh, toxic dude. And then we have Pikachu, <laughs> who's just Pikachu. Uh, okay, so uh, that's interesting for sure. Can I go up? Oh, he'll, he'll let me up. Okay, I thought he was gonna block me off, but he's not. Tons of stuff around here. Uh, maybe we could find a sticker somewhere around here. I think we're still looking for those, right? Aha, I found a sticker. You generally peeled off the totem sticker. You've collected 32. Yeah, she has a lot of these little guys. <laughs> Stuffle is staring at you. What would you like to do? Goodbye. Uh, so yeah, that seems to be about it around here. Uh, let's go to the area they said we had to go. Uh, whichever that area is. Apparently they marked it on our map, so we'll be able to find it one way or another. But yeah, I hope you guys aren't happy that this series is uh, coming back. Of course, if you are, you can always let me know by continually supporting it. Uh, so yeah, how do I pull up the map? Gotta figure that one out. Uh, photo album, quick link. Hmm. I totally forget. There, I don't know how to pull up the map in this game. <laughs> well, we could keep running around until we find stuff because this is definitely a new area. Oh, there's a sticker. Uh, should I risk a broken heart or should I not and live in uncertainty? What's wrong? What says you? Could could it be? The, that Z power ring glistening on your arm. That must mean you can use Z moves. Am I right? Ah, this is destiny, a gift from the heavens. Please, you've got to help me with your full power. Help you? Because well, you see, there's a uh, there's someone I like. I'm too afraid to convince my feel confess my feelings for her. I don't have the courage but I feel like if I see a Z-move, it would inspire me to go all out myself. Please, you've got to help me find true love and happiness. Sharon. Fantastic, don't hold back. Show me those Z-moves to your heart's content. Okay, so I guess we're battling him, 
and in the act of doing that, we'll show him some Z moves if I can remember how to do those. Oh look, you're challenged by office worker Dougal. He seems like a nice guy, and he's got a little, uh, he has scrotal necktie going on there. <laughs> okay, so do we even have a lightning type that can, or a lightning Z move or something? I mean, we could just do a Z move, like fight, Z power, it won't do much, but uh, we can only do one Z power per battle, right? Or maybe that's per Pokemon, per battle. Uh, let's move the Pikachu. Uh, he might have a Z move, <laughs> we're gonna find out. Finn, switch out, come back. Even though Finn is very close to a level up. Okay, we have Pikachu. So yeah, I'm gonna be totally out of it. Uh, the opposing, what was that called, a Clamp Pearl, I think? Oh no, oh no, that sort of hurt. Uh, fight. Oh, we don't have Z moves as you. Okay, well this is your only Pokemon, so I, I probably should have switched just back to uh, what I had then. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, expect really bad play for the next uh, long time. I was never good at the game to begin with, but I might be worse now. Uh, okay, so you're just gonna hit me with water again, which really won't do much, because I'm also a water type. Uh, so yeah, fight, Z power, Hydro Vortex. Sure, why not? It, it'll it'll work, I mean, it'll, if it'll make the guy happy, that's all I really want, right? So uh, let's go for it. Okay, so Finn's trying itself with the Z power. Finn unleashes its full Z force move. Hydro Vortex. Okay, well, I guess this is a great way to, you know, sort of warm up, figure things out a little bit more. These animations still take so long. It did a tiny little sliver of damage. Now I might move back to Clam Pearl. Uh, Scald again, man, you really like using this. Uh, yeah, I guess my uh, best bet would just be to use, uh, no, 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 Pikachu. How good is Pikachu right now? He did take a bit of a beating from that Scald, but uh, we'll be fine. Then come back, bring out Pikachu again. <laughs> okay, it's my first battle back in a while. Can you really judge me that much? Okay, so you're gonna hit me. It really shouldn't do too much damage. Oh, it burned? I guess it's really hot water. Yeah, that makes sense, scalding water. Okay, well, we're just gonna get rid of you with uh, Thunderbolt. Yeah, it should be good. We could you use Thunderbolt, boom, and that should be a one hit takedown. Oh wow, no it's not. Uh, well, goodbye Pikachu. Uh, this is a problem. <laughs> no, this guy's gonna take me out, and it was a critical. Oh well, see ya. Hmm. I guess we'll, actually no, Charco's a really bad idea. Uh, we should do, I guess Pokepack. He's fine, he's a flying. I don't think water is weak to fly, or, or flying is weak to water. Oh man, he looks so awesome. Fight, and we're just gonna use Peck. If we get to attack first, it'd be fantastic. Yeah, okay, we do. Boop, we win. <laughs> See ya. Okay, so we took, out, took care of Clam Pearl. First time seeing that Pokemon. Uh, nobody got a level up. Okay, 120 experience or whatever, for winning. Or no, not 120 dollars, what am I talking about? Okay, so. <sighs> I felt your full power, felt it to my core. I'm so grateful, please take this, it's from my collection. Uh, sure. You obtained a Max Revive. Cool, so thanks to you, I know what it means to be at full power now. Woohoo! I'm gonna go confess my feelings. All right, see ya. Oh, you're back. I confessed my feelings at full power, but she was equally full powered in a refusal. But well, it feels good to have confessed to her. Thanks for helping me out. Now I must push on to find the next one and only love of my life. Good luck. <laughs> sure you'll find it somewhere. So, we got another sticker hanging out down here by this boat. 33 totem stickers, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's go and heal up. <laughs> we definitely don't wanna go and get ourselves into another battle before uh, issues occur, so. Healing up would be good. But yeah, I don't really know what we're supposed to go. I have to find out how to open the map again, so. I mean, I probably just pressed the wrong button, so I'll poke around in, in a moment. But uh, for now, we're, we're exploring this town because we really didn't do that too much, so I'm sure we'll be able to find enough of something. Okay, let's go back at it. But yeah, what, what, what's going on with her? Why can't she be where she was supposed to be? I don't know, maybe an emergency of some sort. This is the photo booth I'm not really too interested in. Uh, did, did oh? Ditto! Oh, he's a ditto! Oh yeah, I forgot that dittos take people over because that's just weird. A wild ditto appeared. Well, this is a cool background. I haven't seen this one before, I don't think. Regardless, I mean, maybe we just saw it in the most recent battle. I don't think so, though. I don't know what type of 
thing Ditto is, so we're just gonna do Water Gun for now and see how well it does. Uh, use Transform. You transformed into me. Does that mean you have my weaknesses? I always forget how Ditto works. Uh, not very effective. Pokemon Pikachu. And maybe I could just hit you with that and it'll be super duper effective. I'd imagine. Go Pikachu. Yeah. Okay, so what are you gonna hit me with? Rain Dance. So yeah, you sort of get every move that my Pokemon has. Okay, well that shouldn't be too big of a deal because I might be able to just take you out in one hit. Luckily, Pikachu has some pretty high levels right now, so it works out pretty well. Super effective, they're all super effective. Which one? Which one has the most damage? Power 90, power 65, power 110. Okay, so Thunder actually has the highest amount of power. Uh, you're gonna attack again. No, don't blow us away. It's not very effective. I don't even know what Gust is. I've never used that move. Anyways, boom, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> it's super effective. See you, ditto. All right, well, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so there's 914 experience, 630 for Finn. Finn grew to level 28, that's awesome. Very cool. I'm glad to see Finn is getting more levels. I don't know what we need to do to get him to evolve, but for now, you managed to deal with a ditto that was disguised as the herb seller. Oh, hey, is he the real guy? Hey, sorry for being away for a while. I was picking some herbs with Captain Malo. I'll start selling herbs again, so come see me. Okay, hey, yo, I'm an herb seller. I'm self-taught, but I sell good quality herbs. Sure, what, what do you, what do you, so we got heal powder, a uh, very bitter bitter medicinal powder. It can be used once to heal all the status conditions of a Pokemon, we've got energy, energy root. Hmm, and then a revival herb. Interesting, I don't know if any of that would be much better than what I currently have, because we have other things that do with that kind of like, reviving and healing and stuff, so I don't really understand why there's more than one. Uh. But I did see this person over this way. Opposite of the town, you can find Memorial Hill and the ruins of life. You can feel the presence of the ancient kings of Alola here. Very cool, so yeah, probably if we just continue forward. Kony Kony City, a town that welcomes the sea breeze. So we haven't gone into this building, I don't believe. Uh, oh, it's a fisherman's house, it seems. Hi, but honey, I heard you can fish up some rather rare finds if you cast your line over the piles of rocks that have bubbles erupting from them. Oh, that hubby of mine, he's good at fishing up pearls and heart scales, all right, but he doesn't have a lick of luck when it comes to Pokemon. <laughs> Time to lend a hand, Meowth. Could you dice this with a nice slash? Oh, looks like they're having a good time. Uh, can I go in here? Oh, I can, oh. We're just walking through this people's house and they don't even notice. It's a stranger, who are you, who are you? <laughs> I don't know either. Who are you, mister? Are you one of, the, one of Sissy's friends? Who's Sissy? Oh, look. Where do fish Pokemon go? One must have a clear understanding of their target's behavior in order to catch fish Pokemon. Therefore, it is important to always try one's best to understand others. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I did see another book over this way. Pokemon Poems, my Alola form. My neck stretches long as I try to steal a look. Your fire maiden is here, but when, but where are you? No sign do I see, yet I wait for your return. Return, so your execute. Executor may suffer no more. What is it you think of me, my beloved? Am I loved in return, or am I abhorred? Tell me, or I will wait forever not knowing. After all, I'm no psychic type. Huh, uh, okay. Uh, well, there ain't too much going on around here, I can tell you that much. Okay, so uh, beyond that, I think we're actually good just to head forward. I see this dude who, do you want to battle? Kahuna Olivia is a rock type Pokemon user. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. Rock types have plenty of weaknesses. She's definitely something, even when she uses such a disadvantage, disadvantageous type. Okay. Oh, what does this sign say? Lighthouse point, the point that has a lighthouse. Ah, very informational. Hello. Hey, 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 don't tell me. Are you maybe a trial goer, hmm? There's a favor I've been dying to ask a trainer like you. I'll help you. What's up? Oh well, aren't you just the sweetest? Thanks, no thank you, I'm so glad. I'm I'm a muy excelente hairstylist, you see. But I just came here to, to the Alola region. And I've heard this rumor that I just can't help wondering about. That's right. I've heard that there's a Pokemon in Alola that has beautiful curly hair, Hermosa. Oh. I've got to see it, even just for a moment. And if I could, I'd love to touch its hair. I've been so distracted by my desire that I've been completely useless at work. 
But I don't even know what Pokemon, what that Pokemon might be called. I thought you just called it Hermosa. Oh, maybe that's not the name of the Pokemon. That's why I came up with this genial plan. A trial goer like you must have tons, no tons about all kinds of Pokemon. Please, please catch that beautifully bemained Pokemon for me and show me your Pokedex. I'll reward you, of course, so please do me a favor here. Okay, I have no idea which Pokemon you're talking about. But regardless, I found an Eviolite. What is an Eviolite? We'll find out later. So what is this way? Ooh, I do see something I can't travel up. Uh-oh. So yeah, let me go ahead and try to find out what button is the map, because I still don't know. Uh, Jeez, why is this so tough for me? Okay, so I have to touch the bottom screen, which I swear I did that earlier in the episode, and Rotom was like, oh, no, don't do that. So I don't know what was going on there. Anyways, it looks like we gotta go this, okay, so you guys might not be able to see, but uh, okay, so I do know where to go now. I gotta go downwards. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I accidentally pulled out Tauros as well. But yeah, I guess I can't do that maybe in certain like buildings because I tried to do that before and it just didn't work. Uh, anyways, I wanna go in this building if I can with Tauros, sure, why not? Um, we might have to battle her, so I might as well just get ready for that. We're gonna rest our Pokemon. And then we'll be good to uh, tackle uh, whatever her name is. Uh, so that should be good. Okay. And if she is a rock type, Pokemon user having the water type out first should be a pretty good idea. Uh, I don't know how powerful Finian is. If he's powerful enough, I sure hope so. But we're gonna find out together. Okay, so yeah, I do remember some of this. If you're going to Kony Kony, you gotta stop at Kahuna and Olivia's shop, right? She sells stones you can use to, on Pokemon to make them evolve. Yep. Um. Oh, so there are some maybe battles we can do out this way? I feel like I've done these. I keep repeating fair battles with Pokemon and traders. What kind of person is a fisherman? What? Uh, can you put that one by me again? I have no clue what you meant by that. Anyways, we're going against Fisherman Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? So he's gonna send out probably a water Pokemon. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Maybe I should have Pikachu out until we get to uh, get to the uh, the uh, trainer that has the other type. You know what I mean? Uh, well, for now, we'll switch to po Pikachu. Let's see what ends up happening. Go Pikachu! Whoop, there he is, my boy. He's actually one of our highest level people right now, so this is pretty fun. I don't have too much more that's like strong against water type, though, is a problem. I mean, I have a lot of strengths against other type of Pokemon, so it's like I can use the advantage in other ways, so as long as I can just survive this next, you know, little situation, this next, I guess, you know, chapter in our Pokemon adventure, we should be fine. I wanted you to, do Thunderbolt. Why didn't you do it before? Use Thunderbolt. Volt Absorb doesn't affect, oh no, I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, that's a problem. Uh, Can you do some other kind of electric attack, like Thunder? Wait, then how do I, oh boy. That's weird, so are you like at, what in the world? Okay, oh gosh, now we're confused. What else is good against water? <laughs> Is rock good against water? Or is water good against rock? I think water is good against rock. Okay, well then I guess we'll just do uh, a flying type. I'm gonna look up what's good against water type. Pokemon water type weaknesses. Uh, but yeah, hopefully now we can uh, just fight you. Oh, I guess, is grass strong against that? Because I don't think we have any grass moves. Uh, which is my strongest that I have for a Poke Peck right now? It's looking like Beak Blast. Yep, Beak Blast is my strongest attack. Uh, it'll do something against you. Whoa, is it fire? Poke Peck started heating up its beak. Uh, the opposing Chincho used Water Gun. Okay, so maybe I should have. Oh, that didn't do much. I don't know if this is going to do too much because it's also sort of fiery. Oh, it's not very effective, but it hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, see you, dude. So. 262 experience points, 361, 245. Okay, so you should have another one. Tentacool, okay, so now I'm gonna use Pikachu. Switch Pokemon. Pikachu's a little bit beat up, but that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. See, so yeah, a grass is good against water as well, that's weird. I would never have guessed that, out of all of them, grasses. I don't think we have anybody with grass type moves. 
Everyone don't think so. Anyways, we're just gonna use Thunderbolt this time. Hopefully it'll work. Of course it will. Boom. But yeah, that's weird. It's like a water type that, you know, lightning doesn't work against. It seems to be a tough situation. Uh, okay. Well, there we go. We got it done. You defeated Fisherman Mike. Yeah, take that, Mike. <laughs> so there's that done. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of a Pokemon. Okay, so well, there's that. What does the sign say? Trainer tips. On the screen where you can select a ride Pokemon to call, press the control pad icon besides a Pokemon and you can register that Pokemon to a direct button. Once you've registered a Pokemon, you can call it in no time by pressing that button on the field. Okay, then I might wanna do that with Tauros, I'd imagine. Um, did I do that right? I don't think I did. Oh well, uh, let me talk to this guy. Hi dude, the dead can sleep in peace here here in the shadow of Tapu Lele's sacred ruins, the ruins of life. They say that's why the Memorial Hill was built here long ago. Morbid. Uh, this way to Memorial Hill and beyond it, the ruins of life. So can we, we fought, oh yeah, I remember battling that guy, the police officer, who had nothing else better to do. And then this is, I think where we're supposed to be heading, Memorial Hill. Okay, well, see you, Tauros. There you go. So, can we talk to you? The mighty families of Odalola rest beneath the, these graves here. Maybe they wanted to stay close to the Tapu. When my own time comes, I hope I'll be put to rest in the same grave as my good Rockruff. Aw, that's so cute and sad. All right, well, it looks like there's trainers here because I don't know, people are just very disrespectful in the Pokemon world. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and battle you. I mean, I'm partaking in it, so am I any better? People in graves are sleeping forever, right? Uh, in a way, yeah. Uh, okay, we're challenged by preschool Liam. You know, it's not really a safe place to play, is a great graveyard, I'd imagine. Oh, so you should be a fire type. So Finn should be able to kick your butt, I would hope. Uh, fight, and we're just gonna do water gun. Let's see how quickly this takes you out. Maybe one shot, that'd be nice. Oh, almost, it's super effective and a critical hit. You're gonna do fire spin which does nothing, uh, but we're stuck in a fire vortex. Okay, that's fine. Because we're just gonna take you out again. <laughs> Is that the only Pokemon this guy has? I think so, most of the trainers still only have like one Pokemon, the fair majority of them. 71 experience. Okay, oh no wait, Ledian. I have no idea what a Ledian is, so we're just gonna keep battling. What is a Ledian? Oh, it, that thing is a lot larger than I expected. Um, I have no clue. It looks like a ladybug, but it's also an alien. Ledian, I get it. Uh, the opposing team, or what, what? I don't even know, the, it cloaked itself in something. Well, I'm using water pulse. Uh, this is sort of scary. We're just gonna use water gun again. <laughs> um, okay. Well, this stuff sort of hurts him, not uh, by a ton, but uh, I don't know if I should switch out or not. I want to imagine you're some kind of bug type. We're gonna do Hydro Vortex. Okay, ow. Uh, that didn't do much. <laughs> this is such a weird battle. I've never seen this Pokemon before in my life. Like, ever. Uh, Finn trying to stuff with the Z power. Finn unleashes his full Z Force move. Cool. Uh, so let's see if this doesn't get him good. I mean, I would hope it would do some amount of damage just because it's a Z move. Not enough to take him out, but I'm just trying to earn up experience for, uh, you know. Oh, you're gonna use Punch, Ow. We're gonna use Water Punch, Pulse. Hopefully this will be enough to take you down. It is, yay, okay, see ya. We just had a level advantage over him. I'm gonna guess that like maybe Fire would do good against him or something. Uh, He's getting sleepy. Oh gosh, no, don't get sleepy. I, I sort of get what he means. You know, he just asked if people were dead sleep forever. Now he's getting scared because he's getting sleepy. I want to go home. Anyways, it looks like we have this trainer. He's just chilling out in the grave graveyard. I thought I'd have a little gander at the ruins of life. But there's one thing to do first. Battle this child in Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going against Gentleman Smith. Okay. We should be able to take him. I would hope so. Oh my, whoa, was that Jolteon I think? Was that what that said? Jolteon, now that's a cool Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch to Tim. 
I think that'll be good. That's a cool looking Pokemon, that's for sure. Go, Tim. So let's give this a shot. You're gonna use double kick. Oh no, fighting is gonna hurt. That did hurt indeed. Uh, it's super effective, hit two times. Because I think that ground is, or rock and ground are good against lightning. Let's just do rock throw and see how this, okay, you're gonna use quick attack. Why do you get to use all these moves? It's not very effective. Okay, boom. Oh, but it wasn't super effective. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Use quick attack. Why are you using the move that wasn't effective? <laughs> what? Oh, ooh, not bad, not bad. And then um, your speed fell. Now I'm gonna do rock throw again. And hopefully that'll take you out. Full restore! Oh, get out of here with that! Get out of here! Uh, I'm gonna use rock throw then. <laughs> well, luckily it hurt you. Um, I think I can do attack again. So we're gonna go ahead and do rock tomb and see if this is going to take you out, because it did a lot of damage last time. Not enough to take you out, though. Uh, Thunderfang. I avoided the attack, yeah, go Tim! Uh, we'll go ahead and do Rock Throw. Wait, why do you get to attack twice? Wait, hold on. You just missed. I get to attack now. Oh well, my attack fell. I'm still hitting with the rock, though. Yeah! <laughs> All right, we got him. Okay, so 829 experience, it's almost a level up. First time facing that Pokemon, we seem to get a ton of experience. Okay, very cool, so you wanna learn Discharge. Uh, forget an old move, because I need to learn what Discharge is. Discharge is an electric type move. Um, the user strikes everything around it by letting loose a flare of electricity. This may also cause paralysis. Hmm. Okay. By letting loose a flare of electricity. Um, what about Spark? The user throws an electric charge tackle at the target. This may also give the target paralysis. That does 65 damage though. Uh, this does 80 damage. Okay, so yeah, I think this would be better than Spark. Okay, forgot this move. And ta-da! Pikachu forgot Spark and learn Discharge. Yay, we figured it out. So we beat up this guy and he's clapping for us. Now stop loitering in the cemetery. Okay, so what else do we have to do around here? This is the way we came in from. Uh, and there's another trainer, of course. Uh, hi. <laughs> I had to walk up to her for her to notice me. Which Pokemon do you think it is fitting with the grave? Let's battle, perhaps you'll figure it out. That sounds like it's morbid as well. What is that supposed to mean, lady? Uh, <laughs> you're challenged by Madame Sayori. Okay. Furfrow. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Looks like he's wearing a little hat. Oh, that's so cute. Anyways, we have Finn. Uh, wow, it's huge too, at least compared to Finn. Uh, this is effective. I don't think it's super effective, is all of his water type moves. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do Water Pulse. It does 60 damage, so we can use Baby Doll Eyes. This is something that a lot of these Pokemon do. And like, it, it somehow, you know, like it does something, but it's not really all that major. Yeah, that, oh, oh, you're confused? Oh, nice, okay, that's pretty good. We're just gonna keep using that over and over again. Hopefully you'll hit yourself. Uh, is confused, oh, nice, okay, this is going well. Okay, so is this the only Pokemon she has? I would sure hope so, but that might not, not be the case. Okay, she has one other. See, the Furfrow Pokemon is interesting. And imagine that's probably a normal type of some sort, maybe it's like dark as well. Uh, maybe I should Google it. I don't know, I don't like Googling it unless I really, really need to. Uh, so, we could finish you with the Z power, but it takes like seven years. How much, how powerful is Gust? Well, I didn't get to check, I, was, I thought I pressed the L button. Um, but yeah, you get to use a full restore, lucky you. Um, we're gonna use Gust. It doesn't do much. <laughs> uh, let's change our Pokemon then. Um, I don't think Charco's gonna be weak against this guy. Actually, okay, so his fighting move, Charco's fighting move is super effective. So we can actually change that stuff, or check that stuff before we switch Pokemon. I gotta remember that. Um, Cause it tells me on the bottom screen. Okay, so you're gonna use Bite, which isn't a big deal. Uh, we're going to uh, do Double Kick. All right. Boom. And then another one, boom. Pretty good, that was actually a fair amount of damage. We're gonna use Bite, which as we just saw, doesn't do a ton. Actually, it was a critical, so it did a little bit. We won't be able to take you out with this one, but next time, maybe, 
I mean, if, if she keeps lowering her damage like this, I'm not really sure. But uh, we're definitely gonna have to heal up before we deal with, uh, what's her name? That's for sure. Super effective, hit two times. Come on, one more, one more, you could do it. Also, what kind of Z power is this? This is fire Z power, that's a good thing. Um, I didn't wanna use Ember, but I used Ember. <laughs> Whoops. That should still be enough to take him out, especially since it doesn't matter how many times you attack me if I eventually just take you out with the damage. I mean, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't matter how many times you lower my attack if I just keep attacking you. 689 experience, very cool, 33. Um, okay, ooh. Okay, Charco wants to learn the move Fury Swipes. Uh, forget an old move, I need to learn about Fury Swipes now. Fury Swipes is a normal type move, so I'm already like, eh, about it. It does 18 damage. The target is right, rigged with sharp claws or th sides quickly to two to five times in a row. Mm. I don't think I need to learn that. I don't think that's that's something I need. Anyway, 670 experience. Finn grew to level 29. He wants to learn Safeguard. Forget all move. Let's see what Safeguard's about. Safeguard. The users create a protective field that prevents status conditions for five turns. Hmm. I don't think I need that either. Uh, so we're going to give up on learning the move. Okay. Oh, Tim grew to level 31. What move did he learn? <laughs> 32 for Poke Pack. Wow, so much experience. Comfy. Uh, switch Pokemon. Uh, well. Hold on, I don't know what kind of Pokemon Comfy is. Let me let me look this up, because we're starting to get a little weak. Um, just to quickly see what type of Pokemon Comfy is. Comfy is a fairy type. I have no clue what's strong against a fairy type. I always forget. Uh, poison and Steel, oh, so if we bring Pikachu out, that should be good, because Pikachu has the Steel, Steel Tail, I think. Um, let's find out. <laughs> that is so weird looking. It's just a necklace. Uh, so we're gonna use Iron Tail, which is actually a steel move. But hey, if it works, I don't even care what it's called. Uh, it's super effective, use growth. Oh my, you got larger. Attack Rose. Okay, that's fine, because I'm gonna take you out now. All right, see ya. Whoop, good, to good that somebody in our team has some kind of steel move, right? Even if it's Pikachu which I feel like, I don't know if it's incredibly fitting. Okay, so bunch more experience there. Beardy Bill, level 30, joining the big 3-0 club. Is it a ghost type after all? I'm always also looking for something that's unexpected. Okay, cool stuff. Uh, so, figured I'd keep going for a little bit longer. Trainer tips, if you touch a Pokemon's icon during a Pokemon battle, you can see detailed information about how it'll stack up in battle. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's what we just learned. Oh, it's one of these jerks. Uh, oh no, did I just run into a, a wild Pokemon actually? I think so. Oh hey, it's Phantom, this thing's so cute! Oh, I need it, but I, I already have a full team. You are adorable. The wild Phantom frisked, okay, it did something. Uh, okay, Gust is super effective against you, I'm gonna use that. Uh, so what are you then? I guess a grass type, that would make sense. Maybe like a grass grass ghost type. Uh, we're just gonna do that again. It seems like it worked last time. Why didn't it work this time? Okay, and see ya, super effective. That was so amazing, 182 experience. Bunch of experience for everybody else. But apparently I've ran into that Pokemon before since I already knew it was super effective against it. Hello, somehow you didn't even see me. Punk girl sounds scary, doesn't it? Please be friendly and call me Punky. <laughs> All right then, Punky. Let's get back at it. Let's let's start fighting. The uh, Skull Squad. I always forget what these guys are called. Maybe that maybe she's not even part of the Skull Squad. She doesn't have the, the logos anywhere, and she isn't. Yeah, I don't actually don't think she is. Anyway, she has a weird bug type Pokemon. Uh, I think that my like if I fight, I think this move is going to be good against the Gust again. Oh my, we're about to find out. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho. Uh, we're gonna use Gust. Boom. It's super effective, but it doesn't do much. <laughs> That's an interesting combo. Uh, Shadow Sneak again. That didn't do much damage last time. I did a lot more this time. We're gonna use Gust, and then maybe we should switch over to Pokepack. 
Okay, so, uh, Pokemon, Pokepack, Switch. All right, Pokepack, beat this bug's butt. Okay, so, this shouldn't be too bad. We're a little damaged with this guy. It doesn't affect Pokepack, ain't that awesome. Uh, we're gonna do Beak Blast, I think. Well, actually, I always think, I always forget this is like a charge up move. Use Scary Face, oh my, that is scary. Speed harshly fell. Use Beak Blast. All right, see ya. That was great. It's super effective. Ariados fainted. See ya, Ariados. Adios, Ariados. <laughs> okay, do you have any other Pokemon? I guess not. You're the calm, cool, and collected type, aren't you? Okay, see ya. <laughs> you seem pretty nice compared to the other characters that look like you. Uh, goodbye. Hmm. Actually, ooh, what's going on down here? I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going, but I'll go this way. Oh, it's the scientist versus the Team Skull. That's what they are. Uh, Team Skull, give back that Pokemon. No. Don't give me trouble, I'll reduce you to rubble. That's right, we're gonna sell this Pokemon to get rich and we won't make no bones about it. If you want it, you're gonna have to take it. No. Stand firm, think of what the president would say. That's what you say, chief. But you don't lift a finger. Why am I the Aether Foundation's last line of defense? What would become of the foundation if something were to happen to me now? Who are these guys then? Ah, here's a promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and rout these Team Skull Ruffians. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. Sure, why not? Are you ready? Cause I was born ready, yo. All right, let's go for it. So we're taking on Skull Grunt Dude and Skull Grunt Lady. Yeah. <laughs> You're challenged by Skull Team Skull Grunt. All right, that's fine with me. Uh, Team Skull Grunt sent out Raticate. Oh my, he has very chubby cheeks. It's adorable. I only have one Pokemon. Okay. What about the other one? I guess the other the lady is taking her on. Should I just? change my Pokemon now I'm ahead. I'm gonna guess you're a normal type, right? So isn't fighting good against normal? I always forget. I always forget. <laughs> uh, go on, Charco, you can take him on. You can do it, I know you can. Well, what level is this dude? Uh, ouchies, ooh, that actually sort of hurt a little. Level 24 should be fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do, oh, that's a ghost. Let's try double kick. Uh, boom. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, so was that super effective? It's super effective in two times. Say you, dude. Okay, pretty good. Y yo, 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 you're no joke. $760, pokey dollars. Awesome. <laughs> that loss was pathetic. Your moves were so kinetic. We don't need this Pokemon anyway. Take it then. Good luck and good risen riddance. Oh, I thought there was a team. I thought there was a Skull Grunt girl there. I guess not. Phew. No. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Yes, indeed. You are a trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trainer. I am deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly astounding. Once you've finished the grand trial, come to Hano Grand Resort and I will take you to see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. I'm so glad that there are nice young trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenge. Thanks. Okay. Well, the Aether Foundation guy with the glasses, what was his problem? He certainly acted full of himself. Oh gosh, we got another battle. Okay, I might just run from this one, depending on what it is. Uh, it's this guy again. You know, yeah, we're just gonna run. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get this Pokeball, then we'll probably be all finished up for today's episode. Uh, interesting stuff. Hmm, let's run. We got away safety, safely. <laughs> but um, yeah, things have been interesting. It's been fun being back with Pokemon. You found a Hyper Potion, nice. Put in the medicine pocket. So yeah, we're gonna continue making our way over to this location to our right in the next episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you watched the video, make sure you comment Skull Grunt Zebra so now you've watched the end of the You're a Zebra Tazzy viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.